like, this really is hope that you just let me talk because every time you talk, it just like makes this like ear, like it just hurts my ear. Tiff saying the word gaslighting, um, I just brought back, back a lot of my experience with Altered. I just feel like Tiff was just put on blast right now. I feel some type of way about Netflix allowing Mildred to come onto this platform after she was arrested for abusing her partner and owning up to that abuse. I don't know how I feel, but anyway, it is what it is. Hey there, thanks for stopping by. It's Valerie. Welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'll be reviewing The Reunion, Season 1, Episode 10 of The Ultimate Young Queer Love. If you're new to my channel, please click the like button, turn on the notification bell for when I upload new videos, um, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. So first we catch up with Ray and Lexi. Ray and Lexi, I did say it at the when they got when they got engaged in episode nine that I didn't feel this was a pro this was the right show for Ray. And it's still evident. You can see it's been however long it's been since they recorded the show. And Ray is still very anxious and very sort of nervous in regards I don't know whether it's the show she's nervous about or whatever it is. Uh Lexi on her part talks about the fact that her mom is excited about them getting married. She's already got a date for the wedding. She's she's already starting to make plans. And for me it's like what if you gave Ray an ultimatum, said you wanted to get married to her, brought her to the show, why then don't you have everything in place, you know, what date you want to get married, what your arrangements are for the wedding, why do you want to leave everything to your mom? That didn't make sense to me. But then she also spoke about the fact that they're going to be splitting their time between West and East Coast. And it seems that um, they want to be closer to her, uh, both their families, who are, I assume, based in East Coast. Um, and also, they had made some sort of idea about, you know, family and what their plans were for family and when they wanted to start to have their family and stuff. But for me... Ray and Lexi, I think, are not ready for, for marriage. I said this before. They're not ready for marriage. I don't think they are right for each other. And I think, they, as I said before, they needed to go to counselling and sort of iron out whatever issues they had before they could take it further. Uh, obviously, Fingergate is brought up and there's a conversation in regards to the fact that Vanessa was involved in that. And Vanessa did that despite knowing that she really didn't feel that way about um, Ray and you could see Ray was very uncomfortable with this conversation. She did not even look once towards Vanessa when Vanessa was talking. Uh, she, I think she would rather that conversation had been avoided completely. You could tell also Lexi was very apologetic about the way she discussed it because she said it felt very vulgar. It came across very vulgar, so she wanted to apologize for that. Um, I don't know whether any of the girls actually forgave. Vanessa, because Vanessa sadly burnt bridges with everyone, the way she behaved when the show started. So I, I don't think anyone has any time to sort of listen or sort of empathize with her. Um, M Mel spoke about how close she is with both Lexi and Ray and how she loves them and she loves their relationship and she's looking forward to being a flower girl at the wedding. I still think, you know, they are not it for each other. Um, we then get an update to say that um, they broke up. There's no reason as to why they broke up, but it just says that they did eventually break up after the reunion. The conversation swiftly moves on to Vanessa and um, Alexander. And there's sort of this conversation that apparently since they left the show, there's been no communication between Xander and Vanessa. And Vanessa is crying, oh, I miss my friend. You deserve someone who will love you and give you everything you need. Which is the truth, though. But then I feel like I've always said this, that Vanessa, her reactions and her actions are always sort of premeditated in the sense that it feels like someone has told her what to say or someone has sort of written down something for her to say, more or less. Um, there is the concern she expresses that she misses her friends and says she misses her friend too, but they're best being on their own and not in a romantic relationship. It's sort of indicated that they can be friends, but they can never be anything romantic between the two of them and it's like uh, everybody could tell everybody could tell that the two of you are not good for one another um i remember watching an interview which Sander did I, i've forgotten which channel it was and Sander was saying that ever since the show she hasn't spoken to vanessa and that the conversation that she had on the stage with vanessa was their last conversation and she hasn't heard anything from them since then and it's like well what did you expect I said it before, Vanessa was just there for followers, and that's how I feel. I might be wrong, but hey, it is what it is. Um, and then they move on to... 
And then they move on to Yoli and Mal and it's revealed that they broke up, which is not surprising for me. I felt that Yoli was very, she was very pompous. I don't know what other word to use because she, she, she felt uh, she came across as higher than and the fact that when Mal was sort of trying to call her out for her behavior on the show where she was telling Mal something and then she was doing the totally different thing she was trying to to say oh I don't know what you mean I told you everything that I was doing and it's like Mal had to say we at the mixer where we met up with everybody once we were back to our couplings you told me you just wanted closure with Zander and yet you were busy standing there telling her you love her and you miss her that doesn't make sense oh well oh that that oh and it's like these things were recorded you're on camera all the time what did you think why would you lie why would you lie when there's video evidence and you've watched it everybody else has watched it what what makes you think that you can get away with that and you could see Mel was really upset with her and she has every right to be upset with her um then I think Yoli tried to go in for the sympathy role because she was asked, are you dating? And she said, well, not at the moment, I'm just working on myself. Uh, I, I, I've decided that I'm, you know, children are not for me. Maybe I'm better off being a mother in some other form. And it's like, she wanted someone else to fund her IVF. That's what she was after. The reason why she was interested in Zander was because Zander had the money to fund her IVF. The reason why she was with Mel was because Mel was looking for the money to fund her IVF. Now that they're both not there to fund her IVF, she's starting to talk about the fact that, oh, maybe motherhood is not for me. And it's like, mm. tell the truth, tell the truth. And then it's eventually revealed because there was a confusion on when they actually broke up and what happened when they broke up. And, um, she was sort of trying to get away with lying because Mel told her you lied to me a lot and it's very sad that you lied to me because you made me look like a fool and made me feel like you know I was a horrible person and the only thing you serve to do is by watching the show everybody now knows that I'm a great supportive partner and also that I would make a great parent and so I wish you all the best but at the moment I have nothing to say to you and I was like, you go, Mel, speak up for yourself. You don't need, you know, someone to continue to walk all over you when you're not in a relationship with them. You don't owe her anything. It's time to move on. That's when Vanessa brought up the fact that, you know, apparently Yoli was trying to go to Hawaii to go and see Xander. And Yoli had been trying to make it seem like Mel was the one who was wrong. Mel was dating. Mel was doing this. And yet she was busy still communicating with Xander. And it's like, why? Why would you do that? Why would you want to point fingers at somebody else knowing that you've done worse? Yes, this might not have been recorded on camera, but you did worse on camera and you did worse afterwards whereby people are calling you out. Why continue to pretend to play innocent or pretend to play dumb? That doesn't make sense. Next is Mildred and Tiff. Mildred and Tiff were very toxic during the during the season so i'm not surprised that they broke up apparently they moved in together there were issues there they were fighting until mildred was arrested because she threw something at tiff and tiff was saying but the police report says you didn't throw anything at me and yet you've just accepted that you did throw something at me and yoli's intervening and it's like yoli i know you're close friends with with Mildred but when Mildred is wrong be a friend enough to tell her that I'm sorry but you're wrong don't be the friend that enables someone when you know they're wrong and for Mildred to say oh when you talk you make my ear hurt it's like why why do you have to go below the belt Tiff yes has her faults but so do you this is why your therapist kicked the two of you out and you could tell I think they were so used to being in an abusive relationship that Mildred was used to getting away and she knew how which buttons to push in order to upset Tiff because when Tiff walks out and then Ozzy says you know seeing what's just transpired between uh, Mildred and Tiff it reminds her of her time with Mildred Mildred didn't answer she didn't say anything she just sat there quietly and even when Sam called her out she didn't say anything so it shows that she is used to this abusive relationship and she might have been the one who was creating most of the problem in the sense that she might have been the one who was sort of instigating all their fights and hiding behind her her culture as she said or her um ethnicity as she said before that oh i'm latino and this is how we speak i think this is how she got away with saying hurtful things towards tef and never taking responsibility for whatever she said I found that very toxic. I don't even know why Netflix allowed her to sit on the stage. I think as soon as she said that, they should have removed her off the stage and sent her home. They should not have given her that platform 
to sort of sit there and report that she was arrested especially if she's owning up that she did abuse her partner this is what resulted to the arrest uh, and then sam and Ozzy. Apparently Sam and Ozzy are still engaged. They're the only couple that survived the experiment. They're still engaged even though Ozzy still hasn't told her family. And Ozzy's saying, well, the reason why she hasn't done that is because they need, needed to keep this a secret. So her plan is to introduce Sam to her family and then sort of tell them about the engagement. And it's like, mm. how long was it from the time of filming? By now you should have told your family that this is what you've done you are you are in love she sh first of all she should come out of the closet then she needs to tell introduce her partner then she needs to tell them she's engaged and i don't know how much longer she thinks she can push it back given the fact that she was on a tv show that is shown around the world not just in america but around the world netflix is available to wherever anyone has internet so i don't know how long she expects to push that boat out i think Yes, these were all the participants, unlike the initial of the ultimatum, but I don't know whether they were all ready for the show. I don't know whether... I think to some extent it was good for them because then they were able to... People like Mel were able to see that they were wasting their time and it was time to move on, or pe someone like Ted. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't... I still feel some kind of way about the concept of the ultimatum, but hey, it is what it is. Thanks guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye, everyone.